Mothers who are posting nothing but positive, happy, exciting experiences are also having rough times too. Many of us have been influenced by what we see on social media and sometimes that's not a good thing. Good evening everyone and thank you so much for joining us. A new study says influencers and social media sites can create a toxic culture for mothers. Researchers say this leads to feeling extra pressure to be perfect parents. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto joins us live with more on the impacts of this study. Veronica? The study was published this December. It, have some, it has some concerning findings that can affect first-time mothers and their expectations, especially their mental health. UNL's assistant professor Sierra Kirkpatrick was working on her doctorate when she became a first-time mom. Her own experiences inspired her dissertation research. And as I became a parent, I realized that social media was having a huge influence on me, seeing the portrayals of other mothers on social media and their children made me compare my experiences. Kirkpatrick's research exposed 464 new mothers to 20 Instagram posts from the accounts of mommy influencers and everyday mothers. Some of these posts idealize motherhood, like for example, you could see clean houses, happy kids, extravagant vacations and experiences. Others presented more of a real environment. The study found that the idealization of motherhood on social media influences many new moms in a negative way. It increases their anxiety and their envy. And so this was the first study to actually show that relationship between the posts and the negative effects on their health. Kirkpatrick says this tendency is not new. Back in the 70s and 80s, motherhood was glamorized even then, but it was in the form of magazines with celebrity moms. But recently, it has gotten worse. But now, anybody can post a portrayal of their motherhood experience because we all have access to social media. The pandemic made it even more problematic. Seeing the world through our phones became a bigger part of our lives. This was a time, especially for mothers who became mothers for the first time during the pandemic like me, where we felt even more alone. Kirkpatrick says hospitals should provide more information to new mothers on how social media affects their expectations. Social media is not a portrayal of real life. It's a portrayal of the highlights of real life. So those mothers who are posting nothing but positive, happy, exciting experiences are also having rough times too. Kirkpatrick says mothers should post more real life experiences and know the impact they can have in others. Kirkpatrick says the next step in her research is to see if there are certain mothers that are more affected by these portrayals. To know more on this study, you can visit KLKNTV.com. Veronica, thank you very much for our top story tonight.